Good morning, everyone. This is Will here at Five Minutes Digital Recording Tips. I want to look at uh, using an EQ uh, with your reference tracks to check the low end of uh, of a bass and uh, kick drum uh, mix that we're doing working on here. I find that in small studios, checking the low end of of, uh, of a mix is one of the most difficult. Um, kind of techniques so there are a few little tricks that we use to help us uh, one of them is a sort of a visual trick if you like uh, using an EQ so what I have up here is I've got a bunch of reference tracks okay everything from Kraftwerk to Kylie Minogue to Coldplay to Radiohead so we're going to use uh, an EQ I'm using an uh, ozone EQ but there are other ones you can use and I'm going to use this to grab the EQs of these of a couple of reference tracks then I'm going to grab the EQ of my own mix, so just so that I can sort of compare them and see if we're in the ballpark of the low end that we uh, that we that we're after. Okay, so uh, I open up an instance of Ozone up here on a uh, on my reference track, and then I'll just want to pick a couple. I'm going to pick Coldplay. Uh, I'm going to hit Capture down here, which is going to capture the EQ, and then I'm going to just play it. <laughs> Okay, so this purple line here is the EQ of our Coldplay track. We call that cold. Okay, let's do two more. Uh, let's do Karma Police. Start capture. Okay, this is the yellow one. It's Radiohead. Oh. Radiohead. Okay, now let's do one more. Let's do uh, Fujiya and Miyagi. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, we call that Fuji. Okay, Fuji. Fuji. Okay, good. So we've got three reference tracks. Let's take a quick look at these here. Okay, so as you can see, they all seem to have uh, a high pass filter at around you know 50 hertz or whatever and it's going down to zero just getting rid of all that low end junk that you don't really hear and that just tends to kind of cl clutter up a mix um, they all have some kind of a bell ranging on the Coldplay one at uh, 60 hertz the Fujia one at 70 hertz and the um, the Radiohead one at 100 hertz and then you can see in this Radiohead one here it's got a little notch at around uh, 70 which I would I'm just guessing is notched out to fit the bass in um, but we can see so anyway let's let's um let's use this on our mix down now let's capture our mix down so we can compare okay let's turn this up a little bit okay so here we go um so i'm going to again start capture and play with this Okay, so that was our, um, it's blue, okay, so we're going to call this mix, and now let's take a look at it, okay. So, um, right now we're just checking the low end, so there is a kind of a, what looks like a pretty unusual uh, spike in my EQ here at around 180 hertz. Um, Apart from that, it's really it's very similar. It's really it's quite in the ballpark, so I probably wouldn't touch it too much. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go to my EQs. I'm going to leave that alone, the low shelf, and I'm going to leave the bell alone. I'm going to engage this this one around here at 300 hertz and move it down, and just pull this down slightly. You hear the difference? Okay. Now what I could do. Uh, if I was to just try and match these up, is I would go to my matching, uh, to the matching section of this EQ, and I just would just choose which ones I wanted. So let's say I wanted to copy this Radiohead EQ here. Okay, so you would match from, and then you would go to mix down here, and you'd go match like as in apply to, and that will s essentially match up our our EQ to the Radiohead mix, and then you can adjust the amount here of. But you know you want it no more than probably fifty percent because as you can see when I go up toward a hundred it gets very sort of jagged and you'll hear all kinds of artifacts. So maybe let's just try it at around forty-four and 
smooth it out quite a bit if we can. Let's listen to this. Okay, see we'll hear how it sounds. <laughs> Yeah, you can see it's cleared out some kind of low end junk for me and it's sort of given it a little um, kind of opened up the low end quite quite actually quite significantly um, so that is essentially how you would use an EQ uh, and some reference tracks to check the low end of a of, of a of a of a mix um, you know you obviously use your ears but it's certainly uh, quite quite a helpful um, tool in order to uh, just uh, you know get those mixes over the line so there you have it, uh, a quick introduction to uh, EQ matching. This has been Will here, uh, and you've been watching 5-Minute Digital Recording Tips. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.